welcome to another episode of the Tune in 10, brought to you by the Tune Network. My name's Adam, and that is the lesser spotted Pete. Yeah. Happy New Year, mate. Happy New Year, mate. Yeah, you have a good yeah. Christmas New Year? What's what's going on? You got yes. to get any new hats? No, unfortunately not. I don't know why. Quite, it'd, be, uh, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be an easy present for people. People trying to discourage you, perhaps. Um, they can't, I've got to come. I can't. Stubborn, stubborn is like, well, I have quite an interesting one. I've uh, become a dad. Have you? I have become a dad, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just telling him for the first time oh, here. Wow. Um, so, little Milo. So, that, that's we've, we've been away for... A... Shouldn't you be with him now? Why are you doing this? Uh... Um, anyway, <laughs> there's been a lot of football on uh, this week. Um, Newcastle back to winning ways. So, as ever, we'll dive into the first half of today's episode, it's five minutes, uh, the timer stops, that's it, we keep shtum and it's half time. So, first five minutes on the clock, what time for you. Oh yeah, you well you haven't been around for, a f I've been doing this for a while. Oh, have you? Yeah, yeah, I've got, we've got, we've got, we've got the old uh, Apple Watch. Whole new world. Yeah. Anyway, carry on. Yeah, so for, the, for those of you listening to this on iTunes um, or SoundCloud, uh, we're just marvelling at the, the new technology that Pete's been missing for the last few episodes. Anyway, um, five minutes at the ready and go! Well, mm. well, Rotherham game, 4-0 it was in the end, but it was a pretty tricky first half. Um, well, what, it, well, it was. It was Rotherham at home. You know, it's always, always going to be a tricky game. <laughs> well... The tactics they came and they came and set up very similarly to how uh, Blackburn did, Wolves did, Sheffield Wednesday did. Essentially, came to James just to stop us from playing. Mm. They stuck a man marker on Shelby, which he couldn't seem to get rid of, um, and it seemed to do the trick. I think um, shout out to Rotherham's travelling fans. They brought like they, they sold out their section. They were in pretty good voice as well. And for a team, I thought I was saying half time for a team. Uh, bottom of the league. Um, Have they only won once away this season? Oh, it's, 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 it? it's drastic like how poor their form is. Um, but for a team to bring that many away fans and to play like they did in the first half, um, you, there, no way did they look like a bottom of the table side. But um, Well, it's always... It's, it's that happens in the Premiership all the time. But, but, but we've seen... But... Well, this is it. We've seen the return of John Joe Shelby and immediately... I mean, he had a great... Um, he had a great game in midweek in the, the FA Cup replay. He basically was instrumental in every goal there. Um, and it was a, a, a long raking pass um, to the very impressive Yedlin, who also played well at the, at the, in the midweek as well. Very uh, So that Daryl Murphy goal, it's his third goal in about three games he's played. Um, it, was, it was almost a carbon copy of that, the Jose Perez one. Um, against West Ham. What I say, man, uh, Shelby's raking Well, raking well goal. one Murphy, I remember even just... I mean, it would have been December time. In fact, it might have even been around Christmas. And yeah. I was talking to my brother about it. Um, and especially Christmas when we did go through um, a tricky, a, patch, a tricky yeah, yeah. patch. And you're starting to, obviously, you can never doubt Rafa, but you can you secretly go, oh, I'm not doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we were talking about Darren Lowe, and I thought, you know, had another manager brought a 33 year old in for, you know, neck end of 5 million. Had to, and then not played him, would be going nuts about that. Mm -hmm. But it's because it was Benitez were like, oh, just uh, better than the bad, as he knows what he did. Yeah, yeah. And then, but to be fair, what I, when I first signed him, uh, the Murphy thing, I think we talked about it early on, yeah. it, was a, it was a statement that, were, you know, that Ashley was prepared to pay five million for a 33 year old. Yeah. And also, if he pops up with just a couple of important goals, then it's money really well spent. Now, before Christmas, I was thinking, well, that's not going to happen. But now, in fairness to him, he's paid, he's paid his due. Very it was really impressive that Murphy has grabbed the opportunity when he's mm. been given it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and he's and he's, he's, I mean, Gufran did actually quite well in the Gale kind of role in midweek. He was making a lot of good runs. Good goal. Um, but the yeah, brilliant goal by Gufran in that one with a t turn and flick yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and volley. But I, I, I think Murphy. I mean, again. There's a lot of games where Gail plays well and we try to find him, but sometimes Gail gets bullied easy and actually some games aren't really suited to him and that's why I kind of cry out for a Mitrovic or, mm. or as I will now, be crying out for a Murphy as well. We need a target man, just something to mix it up. There was, a, there was an incident where 
um, Murphy flipped it on for Perez, who seems to be a resurgent um, player now with, with his form. And sort of, it was the old style, like big man flick on, Perez ran on and he, he skied it. But it was like, that's, that was a glimpse of what would happen if we did actually play it two up front. Um, I thought Richie's back to form. He got yeah. a couple of goals in midweek and another couple of goals here. And he seems to, he, he seems to be thriving at the minute. Um, sort of new, a second wind, I guess, because he, he had quite a couple of months. Yeah, he did. Uh, but we always had faith in Richie. He's one of the few players who we know is going to be capable next season of, of um, stepping up. Step up. Yeah. With the Rotherham thing, um, Dolo penalty. <laughs> Looking at the replays, you can see he takes a <laughs> massive swipe of his own oh. And the Rotherham player like trips and falls. Um. Yedlin holds him up, and it's not until Yedlin holds him up that Darlow thinks, "All oh, right, I've got a chance here." Yeah, yeah. Ran across, and Kieran Clark wiped Darlow out. Yeah. Yeah, amazing! And is the so trajectory of the arc of, of Darlow evading the Clark challenge, and then managing to get down for the save. I mean, it was it, as, 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 as all over Twitter has been saying, zero to hero. But in fairness, it, it was an error, but. He did rectify it, he redeems yeah, himself, yeah, yeah. and it's, it's another clean sheet. We were lucky, so we were lucky. Look, well, he's not going to do it again. Yeah. Well, in that situation, he's going to just kick it. Mm. So I, we got I, away with I, it, I but like I think, I, I like Dahl as well. I think he's he's really, really under stripes this week, and I think I've been impressed with Gufran and Yedlin and Richie this week as well. Um, and hey, Shelby. Shelby. Shelby, Shelby, Shelby. Yeah. 4 0. You know. 4 0. A nice, uh, a nice haul. But didn't you just just vibrate it? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, this is a new, yeah, this is a new feature. thing. Yeah, I'll put the noise on the editing. Oh, uh, afterwards. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, don't you worry. Yeah. Again, Pete, you're just getting a grip of the new. It's all new. This the new country. regime. Yeah. The new regime. <laughs> <laughs> that's apt. Um, right. Well, that's the end of the first half. Um, we'll be back with the second half after half time. See you in a bit. Hello and welcome back to the second half of the Tune in 10. Now the first half we obviously chat through the latest uh, three points on the board which took us temporarily to the top of the league. Um, Brighton play in the week they're game in hand. Um, but yes, let's, as it's January, uh, let's talk about transfers, possible incomings, any outgoings, time at the ready, and go! Well, let's start uh, with the most um, high-profile rumour that's been going, doing the rounds this week, and that has been the possible return of Andros Townsend, um, an unsettled Andros Townsend at Palace, who was um, comfortably pardued. Um, Sam Allardyce is coming, and he's not really getting his game there either. But what's up there? Yet. Um, not yet. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Is it paper talk? At the end of the day, it's a no-brainer if we can get times. I'd absolutely get him. I don't, I don't think there's any. I've, I've seen. Uh, seemingly, there seems to be uh, some debate. I, th I, th I think no. I don't think this. I don't think there's a there, should, there is a debate or is a very there's a very low it's the minority of Newcastle fans potentially that wouldn't want it to return or don't rate them for some reason even though there's facts you know, staring them out the face. talking there's people only people in his position and stuff like that, but I'm like I don't care. Yeah. He's still better than anyone we've got in that position. Yeah, yeah, I, I so, totally agree. I think the issue at the minute, as it stands, is that I think Palace want to sell outright so they can use the money now this week, mm. whereas we are more inclined to want a loan deal with an option to a permanent move in the summer should we be promoted, mm. which I think would be better for club and player. Mm. Granted, Newcastle is the club and player. It doesn't really give Palace, it doesn't un unlock any resources for Palace now. Yeah. It'd be without a, what is a, a, a good wing option, especially with Zaha away at why the AFCON. Why, why would they entertain that? Yeah. And, and it's, it's kind of fanciful that we would even yeah, be able to persuade a Premier League player to come. So I think if we're going to get him, we need to just take, them, take the risk with him. But personally, I don't think there's much risk. And, um, but it's de it depends how much Crystal Palace want. It's unlikely they're going to want to sell him for 30 million again. We'll probably have to play closer to 20. Simply because, 
Uh, well, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if there's any transfer fees, but I would be very surprised if if he if he moved for again about the thirteen I, I million what, that he moved to us and moved from us as well. But because it's because they've got Allardyce in, because it's a new manager, it's a player he hasn't bought, it's a player he seemingly doesn't fancy him at the minute. That's thirteen million he can use on his players. I yeah, you're right. You're Van right. Arnold or some crap from Sunderland. Well, this is it. I think the Van Arnold move could possibly. Yeah. Make them more willing to then do business with us. I don't know how it works. I think Allardyce isn't bothered it, but you know, he, quite clearly from what he's saying as well, is all he wants to do is stop them conceding goals. He's looking for defence, and he's yeah. got nothing. Like, there's even talk that they were, I mean, we're going off point here, but they're talking about maybe Sam Benteke and stuff because he just he needs from, money yeah. in order to. Um, to, to be, yeah. So I don't know. I, I, I would have thought thirty million. I, the, I think they might, I don't I don't might do it. I don't know. But yeah, we don't. I'd be surprised but if that happens. Look. Latest from George Colton of the Times, the ever reliable George, um, tonight said that he thinks it's looking unlikely that the deal is going to happen this week. Um, and instead, it looks like we've, there's a lot of whispers about um, Mo Barrow, um, Pacey Winger from Swansea. Um, so that's kind of come out today. Um, I mean, I, when I've seen Barrow play, um, he seems to have just exceptional pace. Um, so I, I think. As much as he hasn't really R two on FIFA, yeah, <laughs> basically just like. But is he? Um, I, I mean, I'll be honest. I, this is classic. I, I really don't watch much matches at the minute, mm -hmm. um, so I've not really. I don't know. Well, I, 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 I haven't seen loads of him, but when I have seen him, he seems to be just a very pacey winger. Could probably come off both wings. Maybe like. How old is he? Young is he? Young? Um, I think he's yeah. I think he's sort of. I think he's like early to. Early to mid twenties, wow. I think he's about maybe twenty two, possibly. Mm -hmm. He's he's relatively young, quite raw still. Um, I think certainly, if we weren't able to get Townsend now, he might be. And I think he's a bit, apparently he's available for about five million. So if that's the case, and the Townsend thing isn't going to happen, then I think the barrel thing isn't the worst Good. idea. I mean, a lot of people. Who do you think we need? Do you think that's what we need? I think we need. I think we do. Need, we, we do need a winger because we haven't got Aaron's. Um, I think. As well, much as good with Aaron's now, let's see. He's out for a year. Yeah. He, he I think he's done his ACL. What I sound of him? No, oh, I know. This is when you when you're away from the sofa, mate. You you you, you miss all the news. <laughs> well, you've been catching us on YouTube. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah of course he has. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I think we're. I think we just need. We need a few extra players, a bit more depth to get to get this to promotion. Certainly we need a centre midfielder now. Do, 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 do James McCarthy, maybe yeah, from Evan. Yeah. I'd really love to see that happen. I suppose, happen. yeah. But my my well, yeah, no laugh, aren't you? You're right. <laughs> no laugh. Didn't, no laugh. Didn't even hear it beep. <laughs> but that'll have to win. Yeah. It's already on there. Um, that will run over. So I, I just think we need some, some sort of um we, we don't want to rely on Shelby, which we, 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 that, 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 that's your, we're taking the back. That's your final point. Right? My final point would be <laughs> <laughs> is um, sorry, who's running this? My cons, my concern would be there's only there's only a ceiling of player we can attract at this point. Do I think we've got enough to get out of the championship as it is? I do. Or are we just buying potential dead wood? It's a fair point. That's my. Some people might see Barrow as Deadwood, but it's a body, isn't it? And it could do something. It could do some good if we get a big injury now. To say Richie, what do we do? Not mm -hmm. sure we can cover him. Mm -hmm. This is the reason we've got about five keepers on Sammy, the board. Sammy's back, <laughs> and Sammy's back. Yeah. Sammy's back. Didn't even mention that in the first half. Completely forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was quite good. Actually. Yeah, apparently, apparently he's a, a bit. Uh... A bit sturdier. He, he's. I can't get over how gangly he is. Like yeah, yeah, he's, he's so tall good. and thin. Yeah. But he he looked dangerous, like and yeah. seemed. To... I, I I reckon as a championship player, he yes. he's like a new signing. Yeah. Don't yeah. say that. Yeah. Don't say that. For beast prank crap. Has Stuart gone yet? No, no, of course he's not. Uh, he's, he's, been, he's been almost gone for seven years. He did a mint pass in the uh, in the FA Cup. And everyone probably cheered. Did that weird bit of <laughs> Oh, he did like, yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> did. Then just... he fell over. Hashtag shop window. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Czech. I love that in China. Well done, Czech. Yeah. Nice parting gift for us all. Hmm. And uh, is obligatory yellow.
Oh yes, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. There's, uh, there's gun syndicates everywhere. You must be coining it. What's that? Check doing that. Like, you know, we must be getting paid, you've got to get a yellow card. <laughs> <laughs> so how I got. I'll just do it. It was it, the actual challenge that you got yellow card for. It was it was more difficult to to miss the ball because the guy came straight at him and he managed to kind of jump over him and just wipe the guy, wipe the Birmingham City player out. It was it was classic Tio. Been talking to Bruce Grabbler. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's decent slander, like mm, nice bit of slander. Right, so right. Uh, thanks very much, Pete. It's good to have you back on the sofa, uh, Vince. We we'll missed you tonight. Get yourself back on soon, mate. Um, how, how long since all three of us have done? All I don't know. It's been too long. And I'm getting really annoyed. Have we done th I'm getting really annoyed with a pair of you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really, really annoyed. So hopefully, all three of us will be reunited very, very soon. But uh, and sorry, it's been so long since the last show, but. We're here now, so stop. Christmas babies. So stop complaining. You know, you know, Christmas babies, you know how it is. Real life gets in the way of uh, YouTube stardom. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, actually, on that alternative fact, anyway, on that alternative yeah, fact, yeah. we'll uh, we'll 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 end it there. Um, you've been watching the two in ten. I've been Adam. That's been Pete. Don't forget to subscribe and share amongst all your friends, and we'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Thank bye, easy bye.